WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from uh, rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we got the Dow off 257 points, point uh, seven five percent to the uh, downside. The S&P is off three tenths or 11 points. The Nasdaq is up 68, up a half a percent. Russell's down 11 a half a percent. Semis are up 32 one percent to the upside. Let's, as we do during this uh, segment, let's go take a look at. So I can find it. Let's go take a look at stop sharing. Let's go take a look at our daily uh, indice charts out here. What the heck? My apology. Just give me a moment here, folks, so I can get to my screen. There we go. So we begin by taking a look at the uh, Dow in the upper left hand corner. In fact, I'll just expand this out so you get a picture of the Dow. The Dow. Well, let's do this. The Dow forms a erosion indicator top back here, and when I say back here, I'm referring to the trading day of uh, May the 10th. Not until that high gets taken out will the um, will there be any signal other than that, that there's a valid top. Now, in order to have a valid top, which we've got, in order for it to really have momentum, price has got to take out support. Well, inside the Dow, that first support area is where price is trading right now. That is at 34,253.87. Actually, you can see that Rhodes Mentum indicator top from back on May 10th pulled right back to test support, and that was at the 33,526 level. Well, 33,526 still remains in play if we see price close below 34,253.87 inside of the Dow. The S&P 500 right now, today's candle, could be generating a Rhodes Mentum indicator topping pattern. That would be with a bearish engulfing candle. Price is below its oscillator and change line. And that says price could pull back to its breakout level of 40.95. Am I willing to sound that alarm right now? The answer is no. But that would be your downside price target inside the S&P 500. The NDX 100, no top in sight. It's at a new all-time high. You're in bar number seven of a TD nine count. If this is going to identify a top, the TD nine count pattern, that would take place tomorrow through Thursday. The Russell 2000 struggling. It's really um, bullish, uh, struggling at its TD nine breakdown resistance level. We just looked at breakout areas. The breakdown level of 23.40.60. You need to see two consecutive closes above that in order to say the Russell 2000 wants to continue to move to higher ground. Folks, stay tuned. David White is up next. The Power Trading Hour. After that, Tom O'Brien will take us on home. Have a magical Monday. Thanks so much for being here. Be safe out there. See you soon.